Hey guys, it's Ethel Triple Nine here back again for another video, and today we're going to be doing my 100% honest review, just like just my honest review on this latest update that came out on August 27th. So, yeah. So first off, I want to um, start off with what I liked about this update, and then I want to do what I didn't like, and then I'll just think, say what I thought about this update as a whole at the very end. Okay. Now I'll try to keep this short. So, and I'm gonna put some gameplay in the background as you guys are, um, as I'm talking about this. So you guys, if you guys, so I don't bore you guys to death. So, yeah. So let's start off what I really liked, which is first off, the brawler 8-bit. Okay, 8-bit is like absolutely amazing. Like, um, I, I don't. He might get a nerf, maybe to his damage, um, in the next balance changes. But I think as He's not too good, like, he's not too good like Bandage, like Bandage Shelly or like Rosa when, um, they came out, but like, he's, he's also like good enough, like, he's, he has some like unique mechanics, like, I'm just gonna go all through, like, a brief summary of his stats, so, like, he has a range somewhat like Piper's, I don't know the exact, uh, measurement of that, but, at max level, he has 6,020 health, which is a lot of health for someone that's really long range because usually the long range brawlers have less health, so that's um, something unique. And his damage, he does 40, ah, sorry, not 40, 476 damage per um, beam that he shoots out. And like he shoots out, I don't, I don't know how many beams he shoots out, but. Um, yeah, he just like shoots out maybe like five beams, so like 476 times five. It's something around that. He does a lot of damage. If you get hit with a full clip from an eight bit, it's gonna hurt. It's gonna hurt a lot. So, yeah, like his damage is really good for a long range bowler, and his super is something that we've never seen before in the game, which he spawns a turret, and instead of healing, or um, yeah, instead of healing or like doing damage or anything like that, it gives a damage boost to his teammates. So, and himself, of course, like, it's not just his teammates, so, he can just pop it down behind a wall, and his teammates get the additional damage bo boost by 30%, if I'm correct, yeah, it's 30%, and then his star power, the, at least the one that we have right now at the time of this recording, is boosted booster, which increases his super's range by 50%, so it can extend an even larger range and gives his teammates more room to move around and still get that damage boost. So overall I think 8-bit is an amazing brawler and he already got a skin which I'm going to talk about later. So another thing that I really liked is that Brawl Ball is now on 24-7. So it had, like the third slot is now just Brawl Ball and yeah I really like that because Brawl Ball is one of my favorite game modes. Like I, I know people will disagree with me but I just love Brawl Ball and um, besides Bounty, like I, I really don't like Heist or Siege. Like if it could be like the slots would be Gem Grab, Showdown, Brawl Ball and Bounty, I would be completely fine. I know people are going to disagree with me on this but this is just my opinion. And now the fourth slot is going to rotate between Bounty, Heist and Siege which for me I don't have a problem with. I really don't. And yeah, let, now let's talk about the new skins that came out, okay? And the ones that are going to be released. Okay, so at the time of this recording, we have this 8-bit classic skin, which is just a recoloring, but it looks really good. I, I already bought it, and it, it's just a really good skin overall. And then we also have Piper's new skin, it, which is a star skin. Like, 8-bits was for gems, like re, like regular skin, and then Piper's skin is, um, is star skin. Is, it's 500 star points and it's just basically a recoloring she instead of like her regular blue it's pink so yeah that's that's really cool and we also got iris tara which it's a, like a bit of recoloring that has some like golden things on her but it looks really good like these skins um like are really good i i really like them but i'm forget I, if you guys might notice i'm forgetting one skin which is shark leon like leon finally got a skin after like me more than six months of his release he got finally got a skin and it's shark leon um 
and it's just amazing uh, I'm showing it on the screen right now it's it's really amazing and yeah like it's only 80 gems as well so like I'm really glad that Supercell is making some um, cheap skins for us like that don't cost as much for, for example like 8 bits classic is just 30 gems which is the, basically the reason why I bought it so yeah now now enough about skins and now I'm going to talk about the star point improvements so basically what they did is um, instead of the end of the season like all the trophies that you get half of like your brothers above 500 it, ah, if you have brothers above 500 it used to be that all the trophies that you got above 500 they got halved and the amount of trophies that got halved those were the star points that you got from that specific brawler but now what they're doing is you're, you're reaching certain trophy milestones with a brawler so 550 and then maybe 650 um, and it's it's re it's really good like it's from 550 to 599 it, you get 70 star points then from 600 to 649 120 and so on and so forth until 1,400 trophies so yeah so that that's um, one of the star point improvements uh, another one is that uh, let, let, another one is that like uh, I, f I forgot <laughs> actually no I, I think that was all uh, I think that's one of the improvements yeah, and like if you already got like your brother to like 650 trophies, it will compensate you. Like I know this is way after the update, but if you guys still haven't logged on, if you log on and you got brothers above 550 or so on, you're gonna get compensated like the star points and token rewards. And yeah, that's basically the star points improvement. I'm gonna touch on uh, a bit on them, um, and what I didn't like because there's something about star points that I still didn't like. And yeah, so now we're gonna talk about Piper's rework, um, which is the only remodel that we got. And I think overall her remodel is pretty good. Like, I really like her new animation. Like, she has a new animation when you just like click on her, um, which is really nice. And her re remodel is pretty good. Just that I'm gonna touch on her icon later. I know you guys are just waiting for me to talk about it, but I'm gonna touch on that later and what I didn't like. And yeah, now we're talking about the new ranks. So basically, they added new ranks from rank 20 to rank 35. So yeah, now you can just you get you get 10 tokens for every rank, just as you got uh, under rank 20, and it goes up to rank 35, which is 1,250 trophies. Which is, it sounds like a lot, but there's people that I've gotten like YD. He has I think three brawlers at rank 35 at the time of this recording. So yeah, it, it is possible, but I'm going to touch on that a bit later in what I didn't like. So yeah, all, another thing that came with this update is balance changes. And I'm not going to really talk about, I'm not going to talk about them too much. Because um, I, I, I don't, they're mostly about star powers, they're balancing out the star powers. And I don't have a lot of star powers, so I, I don't, I didn't really see the difference. Like... I like that Bandy got nerfed. Like it's it's just like a regular star power now. It like maybe her other star power is maybe even better. I don't know, but I got like that Bandy got nerfed. And then there's like a whole bunch of other ones that I really didn't see a difference. But one one star power that I want to touch on, they completely like took away Pat on the bat, like which was Gene's second star power, which is absolutely horrible. Did nothing, and they replaced it with a new star power, um, which. Which is like it, when Gene has a super charge, he does th plus 300 damage, which I think is way better than Pat on the back, which was like absolutely useless. I'm not even going to describe it. And yeah, that was like in, in so far. We have one last thing, which is they removed some maps. This is my personal opinion. You guys probably will just agree with me here, but there are some maps that they removed that I really like that they <laughs> removed. Like for example, in um, Heist. They removed Beachcomber and Side Story. Side Side Story, I wasn't, I was okay with, but Beachcombers, I've lost like probably more than 200 trophies trying to get a, just a single like star key for that map. And they removed some siege maps, some bounty maps, some brawl balls, some showdown, and so um yeah. And they didn't remove any gem grab maps. 
And they added a couple ones. Like I've seen a couple of one, a couple of them already since they've been out in rotation. From what I've seen, they're okay. But I'm gonna touch on the maps later and what I didn't like. So yeah, now I'm gonna talk about what I didn't like about this update. So yeah, I said I was gonna talk about this later, and it's Piper's icon. Like I'm just gonna put it up on the screen right now. It, it is horrible. Like it seems like she's angry. Like. In her, in her actual like brawler, um, she has blonde eyebrows, but now in her icon they're black for some reason, and, she, and her nose is like pointed, which looks kind of weird. But it, it seems, yeah, it seems like kind of like pointed up for some reason. I don't know. And she also has no teeth. Like I don't get it. Like why are you gonna take the teeth away from every brawler now? I don't know. It's really weird. And there's been like a number of um like adjustments made like from people on reddit and yeah that's just, I, I just like really didn't like um piper's icon now let's talk about the maps so as i said before there's some maps that they removed that i, I agree with well I, personally i i didn't like them but there's some maps that they removed that were so good like they're they're really good like for example um in Showdown, they, re they removed Thousand Lakes and Skull Creek. They removed two others, but, but Thousand Lakes and Skull Creek were so good maps. They're like, they're, you, they've you they had them for such a long time. They're so good. It's, they're, they're such good maps. Like, I don't know why they removed them. Like, I seriously don't know. And they also removed, like, Eye of the Storm and Hot Point. Eye of the Storm, I agree with totally. Like, they're just, it was just like Band-Aid Shelly in that map. And yeah, they added some new maps, and in Brawl Ball, they, um, they added a whole bunch of maps, and they added two fields, no, two, two maps, sorry, not fields, two maps back, back that I really liked, they added Sneaky Field and Pinhole Hunt, I thought it was Pinhole Punt, but, okay, um, they added Sneaky Fields and Pinhole Hunt now, back, and, like, I, I, I like that they do, that, that they did that, like, they're really good maps, I, I don't know why they removed them in the first place, but, yeah, they added a whole bunch of Brawl Ball maps, and they also added a bounty map, which I haven't played on yet, but they removed Temple Ruins, and um, I think Sunstroke was another good one, or oh, I might be confusing with another map, but Temple Ruins, I, I love that map, I love playing on it, and Heist, they just removed some maps, and Siege, they also removed some maps, not really a lot to talk about there, and now let's go into final two things that I think is we need to be addressed that that need to be addressed um first off rank 35 okay so 1250 trophies doesn't seem like a lot if you're like gaining eight trophies per match but as you get higher up you don't gain that many like um youtubers have done like um like shown gameplay of like yd they gain only three trophies per game and they lose 12 it, it, like they lose 12 if they lose a match so you have to like have a insanely high win rate to get that high and it also takes so long to get that high like it's not worth it it's like um as kyro said like i kind of took i i i uh, was inspired by what he said like it's from like it seems like supercell i know they wouldn't do this but like maybe unintentionally they're promoting like bad habits because as you guys know it's not good like the Play video games for like 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. It's not good for you. So yeah, they have to like maybe um like add add the amount of trophies that you gain per game. Like instead of three, maybe like five. I don't know, but they have to do something about it. And that like that coincides with what I was gonna talk about star points. Same thing. If you want to get star points, you have to grind so much. Like there's people. There's a couple of people with the Gold, golden, um, like, golden, the star point, like, golden skins, like, go, gold, ah, I can't speak, golden mecha bow and crow, but they had to grind so much, like, it's not good for you to, like, play video games for, like, for almost the entire day, it's not good for you, so, yeah, that was just kind of me, like, kind of ranting, but another thing, which I don't think a lot of people noticed, uh, I don't know, you might might have, you might not, but they didn't reduce the amount of trophies that you gain in showdown. You're still getting 10 for solo showdown, you're still getting 9 for duo showdown. 
and there's still organized teaming happen like people just go on to discord and they just like rig matchmaking and they just team to get easy trophies so and, and there'll be easy way to do this just reduce the amount of trophies that like, go back to what it was like you gain seven in solo shana and then you gain six in duo shana if i, if I remember correctly so yeah <laughs> the last part is just of me a bit ranting but i know i've I've talked way too long, and yeah, ho hopefully I didn't bore you guys to death. So yeah, if you guys are new and want to see um, more update reviews like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you guys don't miss any other videos like this. And if you guys like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and comment, share, subscribe, all those good things. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.